Yo, what's happening, man? <clears throat> On my way to the barbershop, we in Midwest City, Oklahoma. Headed to the barbershop, man. I have an impromptu commercial I'm shooting tomorrow. And luckily, my barber was able to get me in in time so I can be looking halfway decent for our um, commercial tomorrow. So what I'm doing is I'm doing um, a Black History commercial to where uh, I have a poet who wrote a poem for the company, for the brand. And, you know, we go just get some footage and some content and we go run it as some um, Black History advertisement, man. Um, as a Black-owned business, it feel good to be celebrated by the culture. You know, uh, hopefully it's all year, not just a month, but you know, it just feel good to be a part of something bigger than myself and being a black owned successful business. And you know, we celebrating the whole month and the history of our heritage. Just feel good to be a part of that. So I'm gonna do a commercial run advertisement on it. Just highlighting, you know, some of the games we have and you know, us as a black brand. So about to go get a haircut get ready for that but we still got content to shoot today i'm gonna um, go show y'all how to how i produce the content we just got a lot of different stuff we trying to do but right now we in the dub headed to twice the cut get cut up and man we're gonna just keep this thing going let's get it Yeah, man, for those that don't know about Twice the Cut, man, this is where I got my start at, man. OG Deuce let me start selling CDs up here in like 06, 07 in the back of his shop. And, man, I just started building my entrepreneurship, my business sense, all from this shop right here, man. So every time I get to come here, I always let this like my kind of sacred grounds. You know, this is this feels like home, man. So it's always fun coming here, even if I'm not getting a cut, just being back home at the shop, man. This is where I started at. Oh, gee, you still, you still good. You still good. Ain't nobody here. You somebody put, show up. But you know, good man. Ah, oh, okay, cool. I'm uh, we we doing post production stuff. So you know what I'm saying? Like what what we basically doing is I just got a camera on and we just getting shit content. I'm, I'm starting to build like YouTube. I was hoping for like another bad day though. I kind of like this. What's up, Freeze? How you yeah. doing? What up, Freeze? That's why I like the days like this, man. I can just be comfortable. Yeah. Shooting the shit, talking, and then videoing. Yeah. We gotta do. We gotta get us another one of them money that we did like for the experience. Oh, for sure. I'm ready. You got the whole setup. Oh uh, yeah. Whatever you wanna do? Hell yeah. Let's uh let's plan for shit. Let's plan for sometime in February. Okay. Get that. You ready to start really marketing, bro? Yeah. We just gotta lace up and, and just dominate the, cause ain't nobody doing it. I'm telling everybody, hey, make content, make content. They about to change the algorithm. It's like a new wave of, we coming off the pandemic. We coming off of, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? All the other stuff, the recession. Like they about to open it up, man. And, and they, we go leverage, bro. Watch in about five or 10 years, people like me, we gonna be suing TikTok for um, using our um, creativity, you know what I'm saying? For their personal gain, but like not compensating us. Right. Because now, bro, they like, you know what it does to an image if you done gave me 450,000 people to follow me and then you showing them my videos only getting 10,000 views now? And it, it's making it look like now my, my creativity has dwindled. So I'm losing, I can lose followers and everything. They controlling it because they, they build you up for so long and if you just don't hit that threshold to where you become a, a star like a Dez Banks or one of them. Then all of a sudden, you know, they just kind of drop you off. But now you scrambling because you didn't have this popularity, millions of views. And now they showing stuff. You got 400,000 followers and they only showing it to 10,000 people. Mm -hmm. Now it makes it look like you're falling off. And, you know, now they just cycle you through. And then they looking for the next creator. But how much money do you think they made off of my 100 million views? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They didn't pay me a dime. Right. But I, I put 100 million views on y'all on y'all platform. Those man, when I was walking in, I was telling them, um, this where I started, man, back of the shop, 06, selling CDs. So 
That's why it's important to be in the right company, man. Yeah. We, I could have never foresee, you know, like being this, starting, you know, with a burn in the back of your shot. Change the trajectory of the <laughs> For real. Yeah. Man, all it takes is somebody to see something in you. Yeah, and it's really just kind of, I was telling somebody that this morning, man. Just really just, is this is 26, 27 years of, of building something a certain way. Sure. Right. It, it's, it's become something for everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean, I was telling you, no matter how wild a dude is, crazy is, whether he's wet, drunk, or whatever, everybody in their mama going to damn near remember 405733. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? In emergencies, in jail, whatever. Left, yeah. yeah. Never remember that number. Almost like a home number for the community. Because of the love and the respect that did, did, did not only me, but everybody showed with the people. Straight up. Yeah. The relationships that I grew from, uh, from her, the man. That's, that, that's, that's, that's the, love. yeah, that's, that, that's what's priceless, man, the relationships, you know. Just when somebody see you from the barbershop, y'all done had a conversation about sports. And y'all see each other in a whole nother atmosphere and he embrace you like a brother. Cause y'all shared a moment together at the shop. Like that that that's the poetry of, you know what I'm saying, the barbershop, man. It's just classy, man. We done had some priceless moments in here, bro. Priceless. Appreciate it, man. I cash out, you bro. Appreciate it. Man, got that fresh cut, baby. You see it. Yeah, man, now we gotta get ready for the commercial tomorrow. It's going down, baby, man. Shout out to Twice the Cut, my OG dudes, man. Get a look at that sign, man. Yup, I designed that sign right there, y'all see. This is my OG, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is where I started, man. For that, if it wasn't for that man, I wouldn't be the man I am today, man. So I'm grateful, glad I got to get in. Man, he's always busy, so this wasn't nothing but God because he's always booked. I usually do my appointments on Thursday at 7 a.m., but I asked him for a favor today, and OG go always look out, man. So I got the fresh cut. We got to get back to work, though, man. Let's go.